Hello and welcome on this absolutely glorious Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Um, I've already been for a wonderful and really amazing run down by the lake. It was a bit dodgy trying to um, avoid the masses of insects that were flying around, so I think I ate quite a few of them, not voluntarily, I must say. And today I would like to read you um, a wonderful poem by um, the amazing Adrian Rich. And um, during her life, the poet and essayist Adrian Rich, who lived from 1929 to 2012, was one of America's foremost public intellectuals. Widely read and hugely influen influential, Rich's career spanned seven decades. Her earliest work, including a change of world from 1951, which won the prestigious Yale Younger Poets Award, was formally exact and decorous, while her work um, in the late 1960s and 70s became increasingly radical in both its free verse form and the feminist and as well as the political content. When she died in 2012, Adrian Rich was one of the most respected American poets. And the poem today is a very sensual one. It's sexy. Um, it's called Floating Poem. The Floating Poem Unnumbered. It, it's from the 21 love poems from the dream of a common language. Poems from 1974 to 1977. So here we go. The Floating Poem Unnumbered. Whatever happens with us, your body will haunt mine. Tender, delicate your lovemaking, like the half-curled frond of the fiddlehead fern in the in forest, just washed by sun. Your travelled, generous thigh between which my whole face has come and come. The innocence and wisdom of the place my tongue has found there. The live, insatiate dance of your nipples in my mouth. Your touch on me, firm, protective, searching me out. Your strong tongue and slender fingers reaching where I had been waiting years for you in my rose-wet cave. Whatever happens, this is. Well, this highly visual and admittedly very erotic poem um, is not just about sex, but it is about sex inextricably intertwined with deep, deep love. And um, we, we want not merely know that the other's need has been, has been gratified, we want to see it in his or her bodily lineaments. And I think um, it is the height of lovemaking, driving someone completely crazy in the best possible way. So to complement um, this amazing poem, I chose, um, I chose a song, actually my fav one of my favorite songs by a wonderful artist by Greg Brown. And the title so fitting, fittingly is, You Drive Me Crazy. And of course, you will find uh, the link to the po love po poetry love playlist um, in the notes of this video. And I hope you enjoy it. And of course, I hope as always to see you again tomorrow. So bye bye and take care.